Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. I'm going to take a few minutes break from building our V2 rocket launcher from TACOM. Uh, it's been going together really well, but um, having one of those days where I've spilt the bottle of glue twice so far. So I thought I would uh, take a little break from that, uh, air out the store from the glue smell, and show you some exciting books from a publishing company that was kind enough to send me out some samples to show you guys. Plus, also, I'm going to kind of give you guys a little bit of a... Uh, channel preview for the upcoming month of February. These are some of the kits that uh, were sent out to us. One of them, which was, I know this one has been out for a couple of months now, but it got a little late start on it, but it'll still be fun to see this one get built up. This is, to me, his new M40 uh, kit. Plus, also, Academy Models was kind enough to send us out their new Jackson, their uh, M36. This is the new Battle of the Bulge one, so we'll also build that in February. As well as an oldie but a goodie, but their M3 Stewart Honey. This is the, the one that can be painted in that uh, unusual paint scheme, kind of like our Matilda. And I know a few of you were, were writing in saying that they didn't really paint them that way. And th This is, like I said, I'm just following the box art. I think they look good that way. There's still some debate about whether what, how they painted them. In fact, if you watch the, uh, the mu uh, Tank Museum videos on YouTube, they're putting together a beautiful Matilda, and they're painting it in the same blue color too. So, And that's the, uh, the museum in England, so I, if anyone knows, I think they would. And finally, I also want to show you this one. Now this one's been out for a little while too, but I thought this would be a perfect kit to go along with all of our unusual 1946 German stuff, the UFO, the Krupp Rommer. This is the uh, P-1000 Rat. This was a obviously fictional thing that they were planning. They only found drawings of it. But this was going to have a heavy cruiser turret on there, minus the middle gun. And it was going to be a thousand ton tank that they thought would just sweep over the battlefield. It was going to be powered by U-boat uh, engines. Just, just a massive beast. In fact, if you guys look here in the front, you can see these little tiny tanks out in the front are actually the, the mouse which is a monster tank in itself. So, and Now it's done in 144 scale, and even in 144 scale, it's still going to be way bigger than in most of the other 35th scale tanks on the market. So it's just going to be a really, really kind of cool 1946 thing like I told you again too. Now, TACOM actually later this month too has a 35th scale mouse that I'll also be building. I think it'll be kind of cool to do that because it's just going to be a beast of a, t of a kit. All new tooling, so it should be, it should be a great thing. So now that uh, I've shown you all the new kits, I uh, also want to thank everyone for uh, making the visit out to my store here in Phoenix. Um, uh, daily I'm getting some of you from around the country and around the world who stop by and say hello and take home a souvenir as it was called. But I really appreciate you coming in. Of course, I really appreciate all my subscribers. We are really quickly approaching 30,000. I'm really excited about that. It makes me want to even build more kits and show you guys and uh, really, really build this channel up really well. So with all that being said, uh, let me show you those books. So what I want to show you guys now is a, uh, a publishing company named Feist Books, um, and their website is feistbooks.com, and I, I will put it up on there too so you guys can look it up. Um, Uwe Feist is a very, very well-known military uh, vehicle historian and has made countless, countless books over the last uh, 40, 50 years, so very, very excellent quality stuff. And because of my YouTube channel, I was uh, privileged enough to become uh, friends with him over the last couple months. And he has sent me some books that I thought I would show you that I've had uh, many of these in my own collection. And some, some of them are newer that I thought you guys might be interested in. Uh, to start off with, he is the uh, co-author on all of these writing books. And he, all of these are now available on his website. Very, very good quality books. All hardcover. Just super detail of, and very clear, concise pictures. Just great things. If you're looking on information on the Tiger, this is the type of book that you're going to need. Because there are so many... Uh, just candid photographs of the tiger, you know, changing track, uh, fixing this and that, that if you're as a modeler, would be very, very useful and uh, very handy to, um, you know, 
taking apart the engine, barrel, all that kind of stuff. And you can really see inside and out. And just like a lot of candid photos of the crew, just, just doing everyday stuff when they're not fighting. So this, this high quality uh, hardcover book with all the, the really clear, crisp photos is $45 on his website with free shipping anywhere in the United States. Plus he ships worldwide. Uh, there is a little bit of a shipping fee for outside of the United States, but you can actually get a hold of all these books. And just great, great photos. A must for the modeler. And they have it on the Tiger One, Sturm Tiger. He has it on Panthers. He has it on Storm Geschütz. All different types of books like that. This book right here, De Wehrmacht, on the two centimeter flat gun is great. I spent the last probably about an hour and a half just going through all the photos. It's a soft cover book, but very, very nice photos. Crisp, clear detail. Uh, I was actually have one of these kits that I was going to start working on again. You may have seen me. I built one with the, uh, the Dragon kit, but wanted to do another one eventually to do around some sights and some diorama stuff. But after looking at this, it got me really excited to want to go ahead and start producing that kit right away. Uh, just, you can see, complete schematics, uh, blow-aparts of the entire uh, the gun, just how everything goes together. Some great candid photos. Just, just a wonderful, wonderful book, as you can see right here. Just something that, uh, even something like this, that I thought this was kind of unusual. I have never seen this vehicle ever before in my life, and yet there's four of them in this picture pulling uh, two centimeter flat guns. Just so always, he always comes up with some really cool photos, and they're not all the same photos that you see over and over again in a lot of other history books. Uh, just great, great stuff. Now he also has a few other interesting books on on aircraft, and this is the Luftwaffe Air Diaries. And a lot of a uh, lot of color photos of the individual uh, pilots and aces. Photos from early for each one of the different people. Um, some nice shots inside of the aircraft. Just some nice, nice candid photos that you don't normally see. Some artwork series. And he also has another book that's fairly new. Uh, it's called The United States versus German Equipment. I was kind of interested in this as well because this one shows you especially if you're going to be doing figures. And I know a lot of you have been asking me to start painting some figures, and I will eventually start painting some. It's just kind of tough. I'm not the, the best uh, artist in the world when it comes to doing figures, so i got to do some practicing first. But there's lots of pictures of the real equipment, the um, World War II and modern-day photos, so of uh, both German and American figures. So another really cool book. And the final one I want to show you, is this book right here. Uh, this is a book on Otto Carius. He was a uh, German regular army uh, tank ace in Tigers. And Mr. Feiss was uh, a friend of his for 20 years up until his death. And he produced this book for his 90th birthday. And it is just chock full of old uh, newspaper clippings, uh, letters that he received, commendations, all the different kinds of stuff, plus lots and lots of photos that were taken from that time period with his Tiger Tank. Now, he only produced a thousand copies of this book, so and it came out a few years back, but um, he still does have a few of these copies on his website. Uh, very, very cool book to read into. Plus, it's a lot of the story about Otto Carius, so another really, really good read. And one other thing I'll uh, tell you about is uh, I was talking to Mr. Feist, and he has a brand new book that will be out fairly, fairly soon. It's called A Hundred Years of German Armor. Now, I don't have any artwork or anything yet on it, but after talking to him for hours on the phone, he tells me that he has thousands of photos and stuff throughout the years that are going to go into this. Many of them have never been seen before, so it's, it's just going to be a great, great book. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it, and uh, be sure to know that uh, as soon as it does come out, I will immediately do a review and show you guys on it. But yeah, please go ahead and check out his Feist publications, uh, feistbooks.com, and I'll put the web address up again. Is this book right here. Uh, this is a book on Otto Carius. He was a uh, German regular army uh, tank ace in Tigers, and... Mr. Feist was uh, a friend of his for 20 years up until his death and he produced this book for his 90th birthday and it is just chock full of 
old uh, newspaper clippings, uh, letters that he received, commendations, all the different kinds of stuff, plus lots and lots of photos that were taken from that time period with his Tiger Tank. Now, he only produced a thousand copies of this book, so and it came out a few years back, but um, he still does have a few of these copies on his website. Uh, very, very cool book to read into. Plus, it's a lot of the story about Adelcaria, so another really, really good read. And one other thing I'll uh, tell you about is uh, I was talking to Mr. Feist, and he has a brand new book that'll be out fairly, fairly soon. It's called A Hundred Years of German Armor. Now, I don't have any artwork or anything yet on it, but after talking to him for hours on the phone, he tells me that he has thousands of photos and stuff throughout the years that are going to go into this. Many of them have never been seen before, so it's, it's just going to be a great, great book. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it, and uh, be sure to know that uh, as soon as it does come out, I will immediately do a review and show you guys on it. But yeah, please go ahead and check out his Feist publications, uh, feistbooks.com, and I'll put the web address up again. Uh, some excellent books. Like I said, it's free shipping in the United States. Uh, and inexpensive shipping around worldwide because some of these books do get pretty heavy. So it's a great, great deal on some really high quality books. So I want to thank you guys for uh, taking some time out watching this video here. I'm going to get back to work on finishing up the build on the V2. Uh, and please stay tuned for the rest of the month. Not only will those other kits all be coming out that I showed you earlier, but we also have some special surprises coming, some, some early kits and things like that uh, that more towards the mid to the late of the month, later part of the month. But uh, thanks for watching as always, and please stay tuned because we have a lot of videos coming.